Today we are doing the how to start working out video and I'm sorry if you hear a bunch of echo in here, the space that I'm in right now, which is our new apartment, um, does not have a lot of furniture essentially so it's not really soaking up any of the sound. First of all, if you're watching this video, you're here because you want to get healthy, start working out, get in the gym, move your body and I will admit that I really struggle with working out. I go through seasons and phases where I'm like really into it and then I'll go like a year basically without working out hardly at all. So I wanted to change that obviously for health reasons, being that I just want to be the healthiest version of myself. So the past two weeks I have actually been working out more consistently for the first time since I think Adam and I were engaged because I was getting ready for that wedding bod, which was over a year ago. So yeah, I'm finally back working out and I've kind of found a system that works for me. So I thought I'd share my tips. Okay, so the first thing that I want to just get out there is when you are first starting to work out, there's no need to worry about the number right now. Whether it's your weight number or whether it's calories or carbs or sugars and things like that, that's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother thing that yes, you should be thinking about and that can be really overwhelming. All we're focused on right now is getting in the gym or getting our body moving. By moving our body, that could be dancing, that could be yoga, that could be stretching, that could be walking, that could be jogging, that could be weightlifting. I think by putting on your workout clothes and actually doing some light stretching or going for a walk is the first step. Because if you're just going on a walk, if you're just doing a couple stretches in your work clothes or your school clothes or whatever it is, your mind isn't really thinking, okay, this is a routine, this is a habit, this is something I'm having to show up for. Put on your running shoes, even if you're just going for a walk, or put on your yoga pants and do some stretches, or whatever's really comfy for you that you'll feel comfortable moving in. Does that make sense? Because then you'll associate that time as healthy and you're motivated because you put on the gear and you did the thing. And I think starting off slow is the best way anyway. I know for me, I'm an all the way or not at all kind of person, and every time I've gone back to the gym and started working out again, I usually overdo it and I hurt myself, like actually really hurt myself, and then I can't work out for like another week or so, and then that throws off the whole trying to get into a habit of working out thing. I asked you guys on Instagram what your number one tip for getting back into a workout routine was, so let's read a couple of them. So Lauren Cordner says, great workout playlist. That's a good one. Um, I know when I'm working out, I put on some really good music and I end up like kind of working out. Well, I work out and then I kind of stop my workout and just do a little dance. And I don't know, it keeps things fun rather than like, oh, I'm just training and torturing my body. I'm actually having fun while doing it. And then Jaden Brock one says, find a plan that works best for you. It's hard, but you won't regret it. That is true. And I do think everybody works differently. Like some people really like yoga, some people really like weightlifting, some people really like swimming, some people really like running. And I think, I mean, obviously you should mix it up some for your body's stamina. But I do think finding something that you personally really enjoy is important. I don't know how to say this, but Varia.h, I think. She says, find a doable workout plan, put everything else down, as hard as it is, and do it. That sounds like she's got like the, the Nike. Nike in her. Just do it. Another comment um, that I thought was a really good one. It's by Lewis Lop 14 He says, this was a huge one for me. Know your why, your reason to work out. And I totally agree, okay? So that is actually how I got started back into working out again, was having a why. And my why was I was tired of being weak. I wanna be strong, I wanna feel capable of doing things and not feeling weak or just exhausted after just simple daily tasks. And it may seem ridiculous, but I actually really wanted to get a good booty because I'm small and I don't really have much curves, but I feel like, no pun intended, my legs and butt area has potential of being better. When I was a little girl, I was actually tall compared to the other girls my age. Anyway, I ended up not growing anymore past that, so now I'm short and I'm 5'3". Shh, Chewy. 
quiet. But anyway, I remember being tall and lanky. So one of my best friends, she was like really tiny and she had a gymnast bod and she had such a cute butt and legs and she just was like so fit and strong and I wanted to be like that and I haven't really stopped admiring that look and that vibe of being strong and sturdy. And anyway, so that was my why. I wanted to be strong and I wanted a good butt. So know your why. So Adam, what is your number one tip for getting back into working out? Make it work with your schedule. It's not like that's so good. That was like anxiety. gonna be my next point. So that's so good. On top of on top of something that you already don't want to do. Yeah. Look at how relaxing is that, you guys. That. Yes, I totally agree. Find the time of day that works for you for working out too. For me, it's it's actually really random, but it's at, at like three o'clock, right? It's usually like three or four, sometime between lunch and dinner that I like to work out. For some reason, I just am most inspired then, I feel most awake then, I feel strong then, because I feel like if you work out in a time where you don't feel strong, you're gonna just hate it because, well, at least if you're trying to like build muscle and build strength, if that's one of your goals, then yeah, feeling strong is something like, it's going to be an extra boost of confidence if you feel strong or if you're like working out first thing in the morning. I think that works for you, right, Adam? Working out in the morning? Yeah, I love working out in the morning. He loves working out, but for it's me, my day started. yeah, and I think for some people it really works for them and it gets it out of the way, but for me, it just feels like I woke up something I already don't like doing because I'm not a morning person, and then the first thing I do is just like torture my body is what it feels like to me, but I feel like it does work for a lot of people in the mornings, but I really love the afternoon. Some people do evenings, like after work or um, after school, like five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock p.m., um, but yeah, I feel like finding the right time for you, finding the time when you have energy and it clears your mind and it sets you up for success, that time works best for you. Hey Patchouli, what time of day works best for you to go work out? All the times. All the times is good for me. Two, sit, get <laughs> This is pretty cute. The people want to see you. Gotta give the people what they want. <laughs> that being said, the time that I like to work out, it is not that time yet. It is 11.02 and I think we are gonna go to... It's 11.02 a.m. I, I wasn't lying! <laughs> I was not lying. Um, <laughs> Siri, I was keeping you honest. So we're gonna go to a local art store and we're gonna pick up some supplies. I'm really excited. I wanna paint more this year and just get more into my creative flow this year. Then we'll, we'll work out later, so yeah. Stay tuned. Hey, okay, so actually we haven't left yet, but I did want to read to you another comment. It's Megan Fannin. She said, start slow. If you go all in at once, you're more likely to fail. And that is what I was talking about earlier. Basically, just start off slow, whether it's stretching or walking or anything like that. Getting your body moving and getting your mindset in, I'm moving my body, I'm making this very intentional. That kind of mindset, then you're already winning. Start slow. Good advice, Megan. Just got back from the art store. I am making myself some lunch slash pre-workout. I have some broccoli in the microwave and I'm making these vegan chicken patties, spicy chicken patties. I'll have two, Adam will have two. He'll probably have like it with bread and stuff. And I'm probably gonna just have mine as is and add some vegan <laughs> mayo. And Adam is actually at the store right now picking up some milk and a couple other things for a smoothie for after our workout. Okay, so while that's cooking, I'm gonna read another answer I got from somebody. It's Ashley Christine Fitness. What's up, girl? Pick one new routine to try and stick to it for a whole month. Building on that that one routine could even just be one choice of cardio example a 20 to 30 minute walk two times per week or a 30 minute full body routine to do two times per week stick to the same days and times each week and stick to it for one whole month then add to that totally agree so I've been working out whenever Adam gets off work today he's actually off work I usually will work out with him between like three and five like I, I said before it's when he gets home and the days that I'm not nannying that's my other job by the way if you didn't know I knit me two days a week and it's been a routine and I think that's what's really helped keep it moving It's helped me keep going because it's a normal week-to-week -week thing. He bought more than just smoothie stuff He bought me raspberries. Yay! Hey, okay, so I just ate and I wanted to address Workout clothes most of the time I work out in sweatpants um, the other option I have are these leggings that I just bought normally just like a t-shirt which you'll see in the clip of me working out I just am wearing a normal t-shirt so don't feel like you need expensive things 
to get your body moving. So remember when I said that my motivation was I wanted to be strong and I wanted a good, a good butt and legs. I have been, like I said, in and out of fitness basically like my whole adult life, actually starting like in my early teens, I, I like to work out because um, I was really active and I used to dance and stuff like that. So I used to do a bunch of fitness classes. I've done like, you know, the boot camps where it's just like circuit training. I've done yoga, I've done Zumba. I was a Zumba instructor at one point. Anyway, so I've done like uh, several different classes in fitness, had different fitness instruction. So that being said, when I'm looking up exercises, I relatively know what most of them are. When it says, obviously do lunges, most people know what that means, but more like side lunges or what's a sumo squat. I know what that is, but since it's been a while, I actually have to look up what the things are. And so there's YouTube videos, there's Pinterest, and speaking of Pinterest, that is where I've been finding my workouts. Now, I mean, if you can afford a personal trainer, that's great, because um, obviously that's personal help. Um, but I can't do that at this time of life. So I'm my own personal trainer. So whether it's YouTube and Pinterest, that's like where I'm finding my inspiration. Basically, I have a get fit board on my Pinterest. Okay, I hit Pinterest. Here, I'm already on it. Get fit. Okay, so I kind of started from the bottom and I started with this one. So that was on Monday and then on Wednesday I did this one. And then on Friday I did that one. Um, and I just looked up like basically booty building things and hip building things. Things that also had like abs and waist as well. Um, and a lot of them have push-ups as well, so that's good for like arms and stuff. Um, some of them have weights included, but some of them don't. Most of them don't, which is helpful. I go to the gym, although I don't need to because I don't really use weights all that much yet. So I could just do it in my living room, but going to my gym actually really helps. And I just go to my apartment gym that's like included in rent. So I don't even pay for a separate gym. And you don't need to. And you can work out in your home, and that's fine. But I like going to the gym because it's like extra motivation. Oh, the other thing I was going to say is with um, the reps and stuff, I do follow them sometimes, like exactly what they say, like, you know, three sets of 25, say, squats. Um, but sometimes I actually just like pick a song and go either like half the song or the whole song of doing like that one specific thing during like the verses, taking a break. And I just kind of switch it up because I like to dance. So if I don't dance, workout can be really mundane. So I have to kind of work out to the beat, if that makes sense. So that being said, sometimes I do more than what the like Pinterest workout thing says. Like sometimes I do more squats than it says to do and sometimes I do less. It just really depends. I also just go, like I do the workout until I'm like really exhausted too. So as long as your muscles are getting to the point where you just absolutely can't do it anymore, um, I think that's like an okay place to be. And like I said, it's it's really important to enjoy what you're doing and have fun. So I have to take little dance breaks. I kind of make the workout, that specific exercise, a dance. That's it everybody. Leave your comments down below on how you motivate yourself to get started in working out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Of course, you can always revert to playing with your dog as your exercise, as long as you do it intentionally.